Here's how to revoke permissions with your MetaMask wallet. Let's dive straight in. Now, in order to swap tokens, provide liquidity to liquidity pools, stake, or even interact with farms, users are required to allow smart contracts to utilize their assets. Now, once I'm in the farms tab, say I want to deposit into the BUSD BNB pool, I'll have to enable the farm. This means giving permissions to MetaMask to actually access my wallet and be able to input my LP tokens into this farm. So in short, I'll have to give permission to PancakeSwap.Finance. Whenever you give permission to access your MetaMask wallet, make sure you actually trust the site and the project behind it. In this case, I trust PancakeSwap pretty much, so I'm going to click on Confirm. As you can see, now that I enabled the contract, I can now stake my LP tokens. But let's say I don't really trust PancakeSwap or I aped into a project without really looking into it. And now I want to actually get rid of the contract permissions I gave. So what can I do? Well, first of all, let's go over why you should revoke permissions in the first place. Well, many users have lost their assets because they weren't aware about backdoors that were placed in smart contracts by malicious developers. Now, what often happens is that such platforms ask the users for permission to spend an unlimited number of tokens and not just the amount that you set. Now, when interacting with well-known DeFi platforms with audited smart contracts such as PancakeSwap, users typically don't have to worry too much about this. However, in the case of recently launched DeFi platforms which haven't been audited or reviewed by RugDoc, users should be aware of the risks that this brings them. Now, in some very, very bad instances, malicious developers can actually take users' funds even if the user has withdrawn the tokens from the platform already. It's also important to note that exploiters are actively trying to find vulnerabilities in smart contracts of popular DeFi platforms, such as what happened to Banker Finance, which could result in big losses for users. Now, it's pretty clear why revoking permissions is such an important step for investors to protect their assets. So let's focus on how you can actually revoke permissions. In this case, I'm going to be using DBank. However, you can also use a different number of other platforms to revoke your permissions. Now here I am over on dbank.com. The first thing I want to do is log in with my Web3 wallet or my MetaMask wallet for short. Now once I connect my MetaMask wallet, you'll be able to see that I have my MetaMask address up top on the right. Now once I've logged in and connected my wallet, I'll be introduced to the profile tab where here I can see pretty much all the chains that I have my funds and my nice total whopping sum of my life savings, which is $7 right here. Now, the most important tab that you want to be familiar with when revoking is actually the approval tab. So you can go ahead and click on this one. And this will basically show you all the contracts that you've interacted with that you've given approval to. Now, it's on the Ethereum tab right here. I didn't approve anything on the Ethereum contract. I didn't approve anything on the Ethereum network. However, I did approve a Binance Smart Chain contract just now on PancakeSwap. So let's head on over to BSC. Now you can see I did approve a contract on PancakeSwap right over here. You can also see a few key metrics such as my token balance, the dollar amount of token exposure that I have, the actual project, which is in my case PancakeSwap, the approved amount, which is infinite, and the risk exposure here, which generally means how much risk you're taking on by having this contract being approved. Now, all I have to do on dbank.com is click on decline, which will revoke permissions to this contract. Now my MetaMask wallet will pop up again with another notification and all I have to do is click on confirm. Of course, keep in mind this will also cost some more gas fees. So whatever chain you're on, keep in mind that you have to pay the token on the exact chain such as Ethereum. And in that case, it might be a little bit higher than the amount that I just paid here on Binance Smart Chain. Now you can see after I did approve the contract to decline the contract that I approved on PancakeSwap, I now have no results on my approvals tab, which means I don't have any other contracts interacting with my MetaMask wallet and no other contracts can take an infinite amount of tokens from me. Now, there are plenty of other tools you can use, such as Unwrecked, BSDScan.com, Beefy Finance, or other projects, or other websites. So if you have any other websites, feel free to use that as well. This is just one example. Now, in conclusion, smart contract permission revocation is an important step to ensure the safety of your assets in your wallet. Now, by using simple and user-friendly tools such as DBank, it will only take you a minute, as you can see right there, to revoke any permission that you might have. So I definitely recommend to revoke permissions if you feel a project is potentially scammy or can seep into your wallet funds without you even asking. As always, guys, if you have any other questions, please join our Telegram group where we can answer them straight away and stay safe in the DeFi space and have an amazing day.